because I think we've got them all here. Yeah, we did. So, no longer winter themed, instead, decidedly Bowser themed. The season finale. I think that's a clever name for the last level in this game. Uh, so, let's see what kind of trouble we can cause here, huh? I feel like maybe I should be saving these. Aha. We have four doors to go through. I'm guessing we have to get to the end of each door. I'm hoping they were themed like the seasons, which they are. This is great. This is a nice little callback to these murderous flowers that we have since moved on from and exchanged for murderous snowmen. I would also guess that maybe there's a star coin in each section of the castle. Okay. And I just hesitated on that one. Some precise jumping here on these beanstalks. Alright, we gotta go back. We gotta go back and we gotta spin jump our way. And not grab the beanstalk. Alright, nobody push up. Yeah, the, the custom artwork in this game is really clever, I think. The piranha plants are like distinctly piranha plants, but also unique in their appearance. Um, even the thwomps themselves have a good level of detail to them you don't normally see. All right, we got one. I'm a little concerned about the lack of checkpoints, unless they count each door as a checkpoint, but we'll see. So we moved on to summer. So once again, an unassuming looking creature becomes our enemy in the, uh, the spiked snails that we have to deal with. You know, I knew it was there. I knew that was the obstacle. I knew the ask would be for me to time it, and I just didn't execute. That's okay, though. Bowser has a real, like, flooding problem in his castle here, but that's all right. He's probably got decent castle insurance. Ouch. Castle insurance, come on. All right, so good news is it looks like we get checkpoints after each section. That's fantastic. That means we'll just persevere. We'll persevere our way to Bowser, see what he's got, got for us at the end. Not so bad. You gotta be aware of our little dolphin buddies not quite flying down far enough for us to use them effectively. You know, at some point we'll just take the, uh, the damage boost here. That was close. So far, in the summer level, we just got to focus for a hot second. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that'll teach me to be patient. Oh, well. And then instead of going to the right, I accidentally pushed up, so we're going hard mode on this in this attempt. Okay, 
We got the beginning down pretty well. My concern is actually just this section, but if we just throw caution to the wind and say, screw it, we're going speed running strats. So lightning fast. Look at those speed running strats. <laughs> okay, okay. Get a hold of yourself here. It's not that hard. Well then, don't go through the door. Get the items they're gonna give you. There we go. Okay. Look at that, look at that. That section, no problem. This section, no problem. Slight problem. I changed my answer to slight problem. <laughs> this section, we're okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, we'll just let it do its fiery thing. I bet you the exit like is right there. It's gotta be. You got this very like Chrono Trigger esque music playing. It's distracted by thoughts of playing Chrono Trigger. Yeah, now our timing is just all sort of messed up. Okay, we're back. Okay. This is the one we'll wait on. Okay. Not this time. These enemies like are very predictable. You think I wouldn't have such a problem with them? Okay. Same strategy as before, just a little bit more patient. And just like I thought, we were right at the end this whole time. Good news is that we can get this Tanuki leaf. Trade it for a fire flower. I would rather have the Tanuki leaf, but honestly, I might just take some bad damage at some point. Turns out, like, it was immediately bad damage. So. But joke's on the game, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> so now we're into fall. We're just going up. We're dodging some, uh, some egg corns. Totally mistimed that spin jump. I had the right idea. I'll be honest with you. I thought I was gonna die. Just like no confidence on that jump, but uh, whatever, we're alive. Okay. Some more spike ball action. All the way back down the tree. <laughs> well, we did get the uh, the coin in that section, so that's good. Yeah, just a, so far, uh, obviously haven't finished it, but I feel like we're close. Um, of the mods that I've played this holiday season, this one is definitely the most well put together. Good music, good level design, except for maybe like one or two levels, but that's personal preference. Some great custom sprite work that we saw just a bit ago. Okay. Did 
definitely use this, uh... What I was gonna say is we're gonna use this, uh, Tanuki glide effectively, uh, but, you know, don't want to kid myself. That was about the least effective use I've ever seen. Okay, so that... Deep breaths, deep breaths, we can recover. There we go, okay. We're back to where we are, were, and the only thing that we're missing is any sort of power-up that we don't have anymore. Alright. We have traveled across all of the seasons to make it all the way back to what I'm assuming is winter. And some ice physics, which we all know and love. Ouch. Just Mario getting impaled on those icicles. Should really be going up. Can't believe I made that. Have not yet seen the coin, so everybody just wants to keep an eye out for that coin, that would be great. Okay. Not such a hard spot to get. Look at that, first try. We did it. All right. Let's go see what's waiting for us on the other side of this door. It's lava. I'm sorry for taking a sip there. I thought we were going to get like a little bit of a cutscene or something, but not quite. The, uh, the lack of music is intimidating. Oh my, look at this sprite. Oh my gosh. This is cool. Oh my gosh. Well, getting shot at by fireballs maybe not so cool, but uh, everything else. Am I supposed to throw that back at you? Is that what I'm supposed to do? counts. <laughs> Thought I could do the same thing again, but uh, joke's on me there. There we go. That's better. Okay, so far we're just we're just jumping, we're dodging some fireballs. We're using our uh, raccoon powers to control our jumping a little bit, which is good. Would like that, please. <laughs> I was hoping my uh, iframes would last a little bit longer. That's all right. Now we know what we're doing. I feel like... Can we take one of these uh, Mecha Koopas in with us? Okay. Well, I'm a little, I'm a little flustered at what happened there. <laughs> Well, we're down a hit, but we do have our incredible gamer experience to carry us to victory. <laughs> OK, 
sí. First phase, first section, no problem. A couple of fireballs. You have to watch out for that uh, Mecha Koopa up here and not get distracted. Okay. There we go. Alright, we've just quit sort of on the little heads up. like to stay up. Just a little bit more wiggle room. Played it a little closer than I would have liked there. Phase two? Is there a phase two? Or are you done? Quick lava bath. To everything, there is a season. Like beating Bowser for some reason. <laughs> Aw, we did it. A ROM hack of Super Mario World by White Yoshi Egg. W-Y-E. Yeah, no, this was, a, this was a fantastic ROM hack. I really enjoyed it. Um... Looks like this, this guy did a lot of work. And I really appreciate at the end how uh, it was acknowledged that we didn't really even know why we were beating Bowser, but um, there's one thing I've done for uh, all of my life, it's beat Bowser. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. I appreciate you hanging out with me. We're not quite done yet if you're hanging out for a little bit longer. We have one more secret level to uh, circle back on. Which we'll take care of after we walk our way through these credits but um yeah this was fun this was uh by far my favorite of the rom hacks that we've played over the holiday season um if you watched me at all in the past you know that i'm actually working through playing all 60 of the super nintendo games i owned as a child on stream um of varying degrees of quality but uh i actually have bunch of the cartridges with me um, played through Dino City not that long ago and we'll be playing through a lot more coming up um, made between 2012 and 2021 I'm not surprised that it would take a while to make this but yeah so we'll be um, we'll be streaming trying to get on Tuesday Wednesday Thursdays around one o'clock central time what's your favorite season well, looking outside in real life, probably not winter. Big fan of fall. All right, continue. Yes, please. Would love to continue because we have one more secret level to get through. But yeah, even, even as I keep playing through um, through my childhood, Super Nintendo games. I want to kind of intersperse some more ROM hacks. I've really been enjoying checking out some Mario-themed ROM hacks. I'm sure I'll be back with some uh, some other ROM hacks in the future. But first, it's time to call it a day. It's the name of the level. Um, all right. Well, this is uh, not the first time they've actually used this uh, dark mechanic here. Again, reminds me of Donkey Kong Country quite a bit. This background reminds me of, I don't know if it's like a meme or something? <laughs> it looks very familiar, like it'd be on like an inspirational quote poster or something. But also very pretty in the context of the game. Okay. 
just doing some platforming. I don't... Okay, there are coins in here. I was like, did I collect one? I did. That, that timing was just uh, atrocious on my part. I don't think we're going to salvage this one. Goodbye, Mario. <laughs> it's just so peaceful. <laughs> just watching Mario plummet out of the sky to his doom. <laughs> Try number two. Yeah, so good news is that... <laughs> Every time I start talking, good news is that um, we keep the coins that we collect even when we die, so we'll st we still made a little progress just by virtue of getting that coin. Okay, let's go up. That's the safer jump. And we're all about safety. This particular platform. <laughs> Ooh, that timing. Don't like that. Okay. Just do some jumping. A little bit more jumping. Aha. If I was smart, I would have gotten the checkpoint before I <laughs> went for that, but luckily we didn't catastrophically mess up. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> Alright, this platform is moving in some uh, extremely chaotic ways. Take that coin, thank you. It just like slipped right off the cloud. Don't like that. Okay. Good news is we got a checkpoint not that long ago. I just don't like the way that these things move at all. <laughs> Let's not slip off the side this time. There we go. I will take that mushroom. <laughs> I didn't slip off the side that time. I just jumped. Just jumped off the side. <laughs> okay. There we go. Just, just a little patience. A little patience. Love a uh, raccoon leaf. It's good. This uh, this should hopefully help me, and hopefully there's no comedic timing where I lose it right away. Get rid of that guy. He's not helping anybody. There we go. Somehow we're miraculously still alive. And that is truly comedic timing. <laughs> Man. We made progress though. We made some progress. Okay, that's okay. Because we have that mushroom still, we're due for the uh, raccoon tail coming up here. There we go. Just spinning around the setting sun. I decided to skip that cloud and then go back for it. Okay.
I mean, the, the problem was that I got impatient and I thought I could just glide from Koopa to Koopa. But the fact that I didn't die there is pretty spectacular. Okay, a little tight on that. A little smiley face at the end. We did it. Well, look at that. Add an extra challenge by making coins hurt you. Press select on the map to toggle aesthetic mode. That seems like a nightmare. Well, I don't think I'm going to play through the whole game in uh, nightmare mode here, but let's at least see what it's like. We'll go back to the first level here. Okay, so coins hurt me. Getting coins out of boxes hurt me. Let's try and see if we can beat the first level. Because um, I don't know where the power-ups are. <laughs> I haven't memorized that, so... Does getting the star coin that I've already collected hurt me? Does hitting a block... Okay, this is probably not a coin, right? Okay. Does hitting a block with a Koopa shell... hurt me? Checkpoint. Yes, it does. Because <laughs> it counts as collecting a coin, so that makes sense, I suppose. Do you think these levels are intentionally designed to allow you to progress without collecting any coins? I feel like I've seen other YouTubers online like uh, try to tackle like beating other Mario games without collecting coins. Uh, I love video games. I love Super Mario World and other Mario games. I don't think I could do that. That is some dedication. past that unless I just use that Goomba there to jump over. Love it. <laughs> I'm afraid to uh, chuck this Goom or the Koopa at anything in case I hit a block. We did it! doesn't look like it tracks uh, if we beat a level with the no coin collecting on, so. Well, cool. Yeah, so we went through spring, we went through summer, autumn. I think my favorite season's probably fall. And then all the way to winter, where then we got to take on uh, Bowser for some reason. But cool. I, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody watching. Um still early on my end so I'm gonna take it down for just a moment and then um, be back with probably something less ROM hacky maybe just uh, get back into playing a Super Nintendo game for a little bit or something this afternoon but um, yeah this was a plumber for all seasons uh, from beginning to end a quality ROM hack that I enjoyed quite a bit um, all the way to the season finale which I still think is a clever name for the final level of a game all about the season. So.